gentlemen, we welcome you live to Sterling Hall, home of Elevate Pro Beach Balls and Body Slams. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Boudreaux here, ringside, joined by my broadcast colleague, Casey Jones. Casey, how you doing on a Saturday night? Bryce, I gotta let you know, I gotta be honest with you, I'm doing great. Glad to be here for Elevate Pro, Beach Balls and Body Slams. Unfortunately, Tom Collins not able to join us tonight. He is on assignment, but he will join us at the next time that we are doing a recording for Fight TV. Fight TV, hello, ladies and gentlemen, on Fight TV. And uh, looks like Sir Pentico is out here interrupting our ring announcer, Brittany. What, what, what does the Elevate Pro Champion have to say? He's testing the mic now, Casey. Look at this. Let's see what the champ has to say. He's demanding the crowd to be silent. Well, that would be respectful towards our champion. Hey, look. Let they the man speak. If they paid a ticket, they have an opinion, Casey. Very, very, very disrespectful. Come on. If you people do not shut up, I am taking the Elevate Pro Championship at home, and you won't get your title event tonight or ever. The champ saying the crowd needs to be silent or they won't get a title match. Is this how you treat your champion? Is this the disrespect that you people show? Champ, they probably don't. The people of Chalmette don't know a lot of words. Come on, Casey. Give us some respect. I want to interview you for a change. Champ, reversing the roles a little bit. Do you know what today is? Beach balls and body slams. What is today? What day is? It is not Rusev Day. Fans being disrespectful. You know, on good authority, we'll get sued. Stop it. Back to my original question, Chris Aneen. What's today? Who will win today? It is my 258th day as your Elevate Pro Champion. Wow. He's right, Bryce. I have a tally in my notebook. Because I know none of you can count past 10. That means oh. I am, have been your champion for eight full months. The most impressive reign in LA Pro history. I will admit, a huge important stat. And we have it. And I represent an LA Pro across the world. And this is how you treat me. Right, he is issuing an open no, challenge. No, 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 no. See, here's what happened with good old Alex Cruz. You might not know it. I know your memory might be a little bit fickle, but Sir Pentico and Alex Cruz has happened more than 10 times, and I'm pretty sure 11 out of those 10 times, I've come out the victor. Right. Which brings me to my original point. I laid out an open challenge. And on Twitter, you answer. You were the first person that tweeted me back and said, let's fight, Snake Man. That's what your mama said. Come on, Brittany. Can we get some security out here? But now you're joking. Brittany, be careful in there. Don't you ever do that. Now, I agree with the champ here. I still have no opponent tonight, so here's what's going to happen. So, Pentico is taking over the show. Oh, thank I goodness. I this ring until some of the cowards in the back, some of the cowards 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Are you kidding me? Rex Andrews! Rex Andrews, reality of wrestling star, trained by Booker T. Rex Andrews is here in LMA Pro. Casey, can you believe it? I almost can. If, if I wasn't here witnessing this with my own eyes, you'd have a very hard time convincing me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's cornered him. He's taking the mic. Let's hear what the challenger has to say. Who am I? He's a 
a licensed timekeeper, Casey. Defeating everyone in Elevate Pro, I, I can understand from our chance of picking on children. You, you have to draw a line somewhere. But regardless, we're not talking about the the morals of our champion. We're talking about the skill and the resume that our champion has. 258 days as Elevate Pro champion. For those of you who can't do very simple math at home, that's approximately eight months, just as our champion says. You know, Casey, I must admit, like I said, very, very important statistic. I one of the most impressive statistics Elevate Pro has to offer. All right, both men in the ring. It looks like we may get this match underway. And they're gonna... Oh, beautiful! Rex Andrews, early cover, count of one. Smart man, that's great ring awareness by the champion. Says, I need to take a breather, I need to take a break. Sir, Pensico has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, to be honest, Mr. Boudreaux, he does have champion's advantage. He pulled his tights. That's no reason to leave. If Rex Andrews is breaking the rules, he needs to be reprimanded for it. Ref calling for Sir Pentago to get back in the ring. Although Sir Pentago has been a dominant champion, you have to question his advantage in this match. Rex Andrews, of course, has the size advantage. Weighing right. about approximately 20 to 25 pounds more than the champion. Yeah. Standing up almost about three or four inches taller. I don't want to say that Beautiful we can see a toss. title change, but this is going to be a tough test for the other Pro Championship. You're right. Rex has him locked up. Oh. Oh. And Sarpinska escapes the ring again. He's a, what, is, what is he he's doing? A, he's a brilliant champion. He's holding the ropes. Whenever he holds those ropes, Rex Andrews needs to make that break. Those are the rules. Oh, Rex left in Sarpensko. Not going to play that game. Absolutely no respect between these men. Lock of the wrist of Rex Andrews. The challenge. Bryce, I'm still blown away that we are getting this match to start the show. This is a main event anywhere in the country. Exactly. Anywhere in the country. Main event match. At Elevate Pro to open up the show. Wow! Oh my goodness. Beautiful shoulder tackle of Rex Andrews. The precision tactician. You're right about that, Bryce. And as much as it pains me to admit that someone could ever possibly get one over on the Elevate Pro champion, so Prince Go is being smart. You know, he's taking advantage of the champion's advantage, rolling to the outside. If he gets counted out, yes, he puts up a loss here, but he keeps the championship. One would question as to why he would even want to enter back in the ring, but maybe he has something to prove against this brash and arrogant Rex Andrews. I don't think he's arrogant, but he is sitting down. That doesn't scream arrogance to you, Mr. Bryce Bruno? I think so. I mean, it just shows how ready he is. What is Serpentico doing? Whoa! He's walking the ropes. Like Nick Walenda and Carl Walenda, the famous flying Walendas. Walking the tightrope. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. The boy out there on the second row. Break of the arm. It Here seems Rex god. Andrews is targeting the wrist with the with the right. wrist locks, dropping the knee onto the wrist, trying to get the early advantage. Let's see if Sir Pinsko can counter. Pinsko gets That's out of the way. And another huge shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackles for Rex Andrews. Another hip toss from Rex Andrews. And he targets the arm once again. You know, Rex Andrews known, I just looks like the precision tactician. The, the taker of arms, if you will. The taker of arms. He, he is known for this. He's known for singling out the arms, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders. He is known for popping them out of place, out of socket. Right. And he's trying to do the exact same thing to, to the Elevate Pro Champions for Pinnacle right now. Rex Andrews is trying to make an impact on his debut right. and walk out with that championship. Let's see if he can get it done. Yeah, Rex Andrews, a catch style wrestler, trained by Booker T of Reality Wrestling. Pro, as they call it in Houston. The count of two. And 
a punch to the jaw from Sir Pentico to Rex Andrews. Nice shoulder tackles in the corner from the LA Force champion. And an Irish whip, a reversal. And a back body drop to the champion. Back drop. Wow, scoop body slam Rex Andrews. Here we go, the cover. One, two. Oh, two. Christ, an absolute vicious body slam. That was, I, I felt that from, from our seats. Wow. And a kick to the back, Rex Andrews. Again, Bryce, I just wanna, I just want to, you know, goodness. Oh, oh. One second, a reversal by Sir Pimpico with a nice drop, drop kick. kick straight to the jaw of Rex Andrews. Straight to the jaw. I just want to emphasize again how lucky we and this crowd are. Ooh. My goodness. How lucky we and this crowd are to be witnessing this as the very first match of the night. The first match of the night. You're My right, question Dave. now, Bryce, what in the world is going to main event the show? I have no idea. I, I, I can only imagine. This is, this is the type of action that you can find only from Elevate Pro here at Beach Balls and Body Slams, exclusively on Fight TV. Right about that, Casey. Rex Andrews. Oh, whoa, and a roll. Beautiful. One. Oh, and a two count. Rex Andrews. Wow. Goodness. Wow. And another I two count. Rex Andrews over Serpentico. I hate to admit it, Bryce. Very impressive. Rolls him around here. All kind of interesting, unique penitent from Rex Andrews. But again, Sir Pentico, the crafty veteran he is, using the ring to his advantage, grabbing the ropes. And elbow then hitting. to the jaw. Nice elbow, just like you said, Rex. Bounces off the ropes here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sir Pentico grabs the ropes. Punch to the jaw from Rex Andrews to Sir Pentico. Again, Bryce using the... Oh, oh my God! Right into the ring post. Solid ring post. He might need medical attention. <laughs> Senior official Skippy Capitano starting the count of 10. Up to a two count now. Serpentico gloating to the crowd. Look at Serpentico. That's Rex Angels on those barricades. Oh no, oh my god, oh, oh my god, on the time get out keeper's of there. table. Get out of there. Brittany, Brittany, get away Brittany, from Serpentico. Time keep, get out of there. A dangerous human being. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Super cat. Skippy up to a count of seven. Up to a count of eight, can Rex make it back in time? Can be at a count of nine. Oh my god! Oh goodness. my god! Barely making it back into the ring for the 10 count. Very close one. Elbow drop on to Rex Andrews. Here we go. One, two. How in the world was Rex Andrews able to kick out of that after a solid headbutt to the post yeah. and then a super kick? That outside combat is no joke. Off the ropes. The Pinico goes oh with my a god. knee to the face. Serpentico gloating to the crowd. The most dominant champion in Elevate Pro history is on top right now. One, two, two. and a two count. That's a close two count, Bryce. It seems that Serpentico may be gaining the momentum back to his side. Rex Andrews seeming to make a comeback. Iris Whip. And a reversal to the outside. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what is the champion doing? Oh my god, oh my god, no. oh my god! Tope Suicida! Sir Pentico on a Rex Andrews. Not only is he the most dominant, he is the most impressive champion in LMA Pro history with a suicide dive between the ropes, laying it all out on the line, slamming Rex Andrews off of the barricade. Count of three now. Oh, he 
He's got him again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Rex Andrews slams her bits to go to that barricade. At the count of five, oh. now, and a super kick. Serpentico to Rex Andrews. Serpentico with the microphone. The microphone. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Count of six. is going on with Serpentico. What has gotten the mind of Serpentico? It's probably this disgusting crowd of Chalmette. Oh, oh my God! Another interesting maneuver by Rex Andrews. Could he do it here? Could this be it? Both men down. Tim count ends the match. So we had a count of three here. Rex Andrews stirring. Sir Pinnico stirring, elbows being thrown from Rex Andrews. Both men on their feet now. Oh my goodness! And an Irish whip, a reversal. Drop kick to the chest. I, he might, Sir Pinnico might have been aiming for the chin there, but the height difference maybe lit, led Sir Pinnico to not get all of it, which led Rex Andrews to fall into the corner. Breaking the, break the count. Got him in a lock right here, a headlock. On the ground, that canvas. Got it locked in there, Casey, I don't know. This, this could be it. Could be it. Very well right on that. Rex That's Andrews seems off. to be stirring. The head of Rex Andrews, oh my god, and he throws him over hip toss. And a beautiful close line from hell. Oh my god. Elbow to the jaw. Rips him. That's a drop toe hole. What are you going for? Oh my goodness, with a nice kick to the side of the head. Serpentico is ready for a fight. With a Northern Light suplex into a pin. Two. Oh my God, and that was a close one. Beautiful two in California. That's the first one of the night, Casey. You might want to write that one down. First one, pretty sure there are many more to come. Look, I have a tally. Rolls him up. Oh my oh. god, he's got the arm bar! He's got the arm bar! But this could be it! It's not locked! It's not locked! He has to break that grip of the champion. If that grip is broken and the arm bar is locked, that could oh, very one, well be it! Two! A close two count. Three count. Oh, and a sling blade from the champion! Could this be it? One! one two. two! Close one. Another close two count. Bryce, I, I feel like I feel like we're going home after this match. This feels like the main event, but we're just getting started. You're right, Casey. We are just getting started. Crowd's Crowd. getting into this one. Whoa, what is he calling for, folks? Bryce, he's going to the high rent district. Oh no, 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 no. You know what this means. Well, Rex H is getting up. Hits him in the jaw. Trying to get him off of there. What in the world? If Rex Don't Andrews do land this. This, lands this, this could Don't be it. Don't do this. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god, to the ropes. Throws him out of the ring yet again. Oh my wow. god! You know, they call this man. A six to one. He's always got to count for everything. The precision oh tactician, Rex Andrews. Beautiful. One, two. Oh my God. Two in California. You couldn't get any closer to it with that one. That's number two on the night, Bryce. Not that I ever doubt our Elevate Pro champions or Pinnico. I thought that was it. I thought that I was thought it. Thought the too. match was over. Nice reverse by the, oh my god, oh my nice god. kick. god. Again, the high red district price, this could be it. This could be it, this could be it. Have you ever seen a flying snake? And he messes. Oh, 
Suplex, oh drop kick to the knees. Kicks that arm. And he's oh, gonna lock oh, in. Oh, he got the arm bar. Arm bar. This could be it. This could be it. We could see a new champion. You hear it. You hear it so much, Bryce. Tap or snap. He saw. Oh, and he ropes. snitches it. He looked, but the. Oh, and he's grabbing ropes. those ropes. Great ring awareness by the champion, Serpinico. Able to break that hole. Oh, no. again to the outside. Rex Anderson just seems to have his leg off yeah. the ropes. And a super oh kick through the bottom God. rope! And another suicide dive! Suicide dive! Suicide dive! Back into the ring. Lose my voice after this one. Jesus! Here we go! To the face. This is it. One, two, three. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Two in California. But Sir Pinto, quick one. Follow up. Two. Oh, count of one, Casey. I thought that oh, was no. it. Rex Andrews getting fired up. Bounce off the ropes. And Cutter. That's it. That's it. He's going up. Casey, this have you ever seen it. a flying snake? Swanton bomb! Here we go. One, One two, two, three. And that is it. Still the most dominant champion in Elevate Pro history. I would hate to disagree, Casey, but you're right. in the title. It was a good catch. Well, Sir Pentico is victorious in this one. Rex Andrews, not so much. Will we see him again? Welcome back for more Elevate Pro Resurgence. We have coming up a number one contendership for the Elevate Pro Women's Championship. The queen of crazy, Kylan King, is taking on a woman leaving you wanting more in Skylar Moore. Who will get a shot at the title? Let's look and find out. Now, we're gonna get to see two brand new faces here to elevate. Roger, the 
Boss Bunny yep. of the Queen of Crazy, uh -huh. Kylan King. Now, this is Kylan King's debut here at Elevate Pro Wrestling, as well as the debut of her opponent here tonight, Skyla Moore. Are the main trainers at Team Pretty. Another little bit of history here. These two young ladies have had a lot of history. Their very first matchup were against one another, in which Skylar Moore lost that matchup to Kylin King. Now these two women have gone back and forth. They are now five and five against one another. And tonight, these young ladies are fighting for an opportunity to face the Elevate Pro Women's Champion, Amaya Jade. Talking to the bunny? Yes. Okay. Now, like I was saying before you moved in, the winner of these matches is Jade, so it might seem like, yes, the winner is, is breaking the even score between these two, but facing Amaya Jade is not, not a great prize to know. A dominant element for women's champion. Now, here's another thing about these two women. First off, Kylan King claims to be from your nearest asylum. Now, actually, I heard that her asylum of the night is not too far from here, uh, Genesis Behavioral uh, Hospital. Okay. Genesis Behavioral Hospital in Bow Bridge is where she's staying the night. Well, from Bridge, it makes a lot of sense. There's some, uh, some, oh. some strange people there. For a hip toss, block. Both, I mean, both athletes are obviously a size difference. You know, Kylie King has yes. some height, but both women in athletics. Skylar Moore, I think, makes up for the lack of height in the speed. Oh, there's a part of that. As I mentioned, in a nice drop kick. Goes for a pitfall. Just a two count. But a two count early, though. That's early for a two count. Kylie King, you know, needs to. And that and if you look, Kylie King is definitely distinctively larger than Skylar Moore. Almost double the size of Skylar Moore here. But the speed and agility of Skylar Moore pays off. Oh my goodness, look at the strength of this young woman lifting her. And then just drops her, goes for the pit. No, close. You know, coming into this match, uh, I, I thought the size of that the size of King would be the difference maker. But ultimately, it would lead to her advantage in this match. But Skyler is showing that she's no scrub. She makes it for that size difference in strength. Yes, and, and you know that our LMA Pro Women's Champion, Maya Jade, is watching this match closely. Because this is to determine who will face her for the Elevate Pro Women's Championship. Now, as we know, Amaya Jade won the title because of outside interference by Nick Marcos of the Billionaires Club. So she would not be champion today if it weren't for the Billionaires Club and Nick Marcos. Well, I don't know about that. I think that's maybe a little bit of bias on this side. We're not going to go 
I know you don't work in facts very often, but it's called facts. That's a fact that Nick Marcos interfered in that match. It's a fact that she wouldn't be champion if it weren't for the billionaire's fault. Oh, no, because you believe that Nick Marcos I'll, I don't see it that way. I'll be honest. We don't know if she could have won it on her own. And we probably will never know if she could win on her own. Because she's at the Billionaire's Club. And all they do is cheat to win. Question. Who's the LMA Pro Women's Champion? Amaya J. That's all I needed you to say. But right now, let's get back to the action that's in the ring right now. Because Kylie King has used her size to her advantage. Battle of the Women's Champion. Now with a nice double hit in the corner. What do we got here? Slams the face right into the mat here. Vicious and brutal. Only a two count. Also forgot to mention George the ref, the official for this match. What? What did she say there? I, I honestly don't know, but I know she was not happy about that being a two count. Oh, she said you like blondes. She's, she's thinking he's a partial. Well, maybe he is George the ref. I don't think any of our referees here are partial. It's all impartial referees. That's up, that's up the Including the time that you lost to Braxton Hunter while I was the referee. Is that that's still a touchy subject for you? No. You lost but it's the. Not relevant to the you got shaved that night. I remember that. I enjoyed that night. Let's talk about the match at hand. Let's talk about how Kylan King is dominating this match right now. Kylan King is definitely taken over, and and she ooh ooh slams her in hard to the corner. You know what I, you know what I think might be the actual for this match is the support that Kylan King is getting from Marga in the corner over there. I, I don't know that I've ever seen a manager support and be more loyal to a wrestler than Roger is for Kylie King right now. Have we got her tested? Is she, is she okay to, to work this match? I mean, mentally, she's a little out there. Hold on, Devin, I want uh -oh. you to Nice. What's here? Great King. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful reversal. To a suplex of her own. Now you see, she didn't waste any time on that suplex. That's why it actually happened. Wow. And you, you know, as much as I, I, I keep letting that size difference get in my head, but Skylar Moore has shown me that she's got the strength to make up for that size. Yes. Difference. Strength, speed, agility. I, you can say that both of these women both are great things for Skylar Moore. I'm very excited that both of these women are here tonight. I mean, look. Amaya James, Dominic, and Oh, they close by another one. She's going to have her hand full, but no matter who wins this matchup. Big sling blade there. Elbow oh in the corner. Irish rip reversal by Kyle King. Big knee in the corner. It's over. Beautiful maneuver there. Goes for the pitfall. One, two. No, just a two count. Two count, Devin. And Kylie King Jones has got that resiliency. What are we going to see oh. here? Off the bottom. Springboard. Oh. Goes for it. Versus. Oh my goodness, the brutality, this is just insane. And a big power bomb. Goodness. Hair. Some of her hair came out. She ripped that out. I don't just know that I've ever seen. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know how Skyler kicked out of that. I don't know that I've ever seen more pleasure on someone's face after ripping someone's hair off. Well, she is the queen of crazy, so... Honestly, I'm surprised she hasn't ripped her own hair out here. Beautiful back elbow reversal there. Back elbow of her own. Yet another. Every time you think that one of these women has the advantage, the momentum just switches all over again. 
again. Beautiful form. This is a very, very great back and forth matchup here. Goes for it again. Hits it. Here it is. She's going for her finish and she's going to put her away with the stalling DDT. Beautiful maneuver. Is that it? One, two, three. That's it. She puts her away. That makes her the number one contender for the Elevate Pro Women's Championship. She will move on the face of Maya James. I, I got to be honest with you, Devin. Skyler King looked like the favorite in a lot of that match. Skyler Moore, though, very, very, very impressive look. I know she's got to go on the face of Maya James. That's what she's asking itself, but... I'm going to say that Skyler Moore and Maya James, that's going to be a very interesting and entertaining match. I say hands down that this was an amazing showing from both of these young women on their debut here at Elevate Pro Wrestling. What's happening? I'm not sure. That's... Oh! Oh! Dead. Oh! Stand! 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 No. Stand! Come on! Come on! What is he doing out here? Very, very impressive style. Ladies and gentlemen, your new number one contender for the Women's Championship. Planta, Planta. And they're still talking here. Since it's 2019, it's a new year, a new era. We're going to start things off with the bang. What is he talking So since you won an opportunity to face the Women's Championship, I say, let's have that match right here, what? right now. Get the chip music. If you're the number one the right way. This is ridiculous. There is no way this young lady is ready to face off against the Elevate Pro Women's Champion after a grueling matchup with Kylan King. <laughs> this is another move by Ben Woods, Benjamin J. Woods. I knew you were going to correct me on that. Benjamin J. Woods to just destroy another great prospect here at Elevate Pro. This is ridiculous. She just got done with a match. Why would you force her to face the Elevate Pro Women's Champion here? All, all I see from this is that Benjamin J. Wood, our, our wonderful CEO, and, and Elevate Pro are just making this the land of opportunity. And let me put it to you this way, Don. If you're not ready to jump in the deep end when you come here to Elevate Pro, then get the hell out of this. Oh, my goodness, a splash in the corner. A slap to the face. This is ridiculous. This is Amaya Jade showing us why she is the most dominant elevated pro women this is in history. What a nice kick. This, this is another paid-for moment by billionaire Brad Bradley. He paid to have this woman demolished and this match happen right after a grueling matchup like that. Again, I don't know about anything. All I know is that Elevate Pro is showing you that they were next to the loop and he cannot be made the match. Look, Skyler Moore was sitting in the corner. Yes, was she a little tired? Absolutely. She was nodding her head. She agreed. Big power slam there. One, two, toying oh. with her. Look at this. Ah, oh, Maya J, she's not done. I hope all of this backfires. I hope everything yeah, that's right. happening right now backfires. Yeah on Billionaire, Benjamin J. Wood, and Amaya J. This is ridiculous. Drop, looking to go for a Samoan drop. Got a more hitting them elbows, getting out of it. Goes in. Will she roll her up? Nope. Scoops her up. Hits her with a big knee. Another swing blade. You seen that earlier? Oh, Skyler Moore must have broken the rules. Billionaire Brad Bradley. No. Billionaire 
Chad Bradley is involving himself in another match that he should not be involved in. I hope she takes him and hits him and knocks him on his... I think Skyler more broke the rules. Skyler did no such thing. She was getting the upper hand and Billionaire couldn't take it. That's what he gets! Yes! Is that it? One, two, three! That's it! We have a new champion! We have a new women's champion here at Elevate Pro! It backfired! Yes! Yes! You know what? That I will stand up and applaud! That I will stand up and applaud! Yes! Yes! It backfired! That's what I want to see! Absolutely! That's more like it! Oh, I'm sorry. Are you disappointed? I'm happy that you are disappointed. We have a brand new Elevate Pro Women's Champion in Skyler Moore in her debut night at Elevate Pro Wrestling. There is nothing better to me than watching billionaire Brad Bradley's whole plan backfire on him. I, I feel great about this. Look at that. Look at that title. Look at that. That's our new women's champion. A huge congratulations to new Elevate Pro Women's Champion Skylar Moore. Let's see if she can hold on to that title a little bit longer than Amaya Jade did. Well, that's all we have for this week, so we will see you next week, same time, same place, for Elevate Pro Resurgence. We'd like to give special thanks to the St. Bernard Parish Network, as well as our sponsors, Poppy's Ice Cream, Pastry Pantry, Raising Canes, and Tonry Law Firm, and of course, viewers like you. We'll see you next week.